Peter Thomas Geach, M.A., F.B.A. was a British philosopher and emeritus professor of logic at the University of Leeds. His areas of interest were the history of philosophy, philosophical logic, metaethics, and the theory of identity. Early life Peter Geach was born in London in 1916 to George Hender Geach, a professor of philosophy in Lahore and Cambridge, and Eleonora Adolfina Gonina, a poet, and spent his earliest years in Cardiff. He attended Landiff Cathedral School and Clifton College. He received instruction in logic and philosophy from his father who, as a member of the Indian Educational Service, had been professor of philosophy at Lahore and later principal of a teacher training college in Peshawar. His parents' marriage was unhappy and quickly broke up. Until around the age of eight, Peter lived with his maternal grandparents in Cardiff, after which time he was sent off to school by his father and raised by a guardian. Geach never saw his mother again after childhood. In 1934 Geach won a scholarship to Balliol College, Oxford, graduating in 1938 with a first in literary human eyes. Academic career Geach spent a year as a Gladstone research student, based at St. Daniel's Library, Harden. Following the end of World War II in 1945, he undertook further research at Cambridge. In 1951, Geach was appointed to his first substantive academic post as assistant lecturer at the University of Birmingham, going on to become reader in logic. In 1966 he was appointed Professor of Logic in the Department of Philosophy at the University of Leeds. Geach retired from his chair in 1981 with the title Emeritus Professor of Logic. He also held visiting professorships at the Universities of Cornell, Chicago, Michigan, Pennsylvania and Warsaw. Geach was elected a Fellow of the British Academy in 1965. He was elected an Honorary Fellow of Balliol College in 1979. He was awarded the Papal Cross Pro Ecclesia e Pontifa by the Holy See for his philosophical work, thought. His early work includes the classic texts Mental Acts and Reference in Generality, the latter defending an essentially modern conception of reference against medieval theories of supposition. His Catholic perspective was integral to his philosophy. He was perhaps the founder of analytical Thomism, the aim of which is to synthesize Thomistic and analytic approaches. Geach was a student and an early follower of Ludwig Wittgenstein whilst at Cambridge University. Geach defends the Thomistic position that human beings are essentially rational animals, each one miraculously created. He dismissed Darwinistic attempts to regard reason as inessential to humanity, as mere sophistry, laughable, or pitiable. He repudiated any capacity for language in animals as mere association of manual signs with things or performances. Geach dismissed both pragmatic and epistemic conceptions of truth, commending a version of the correspondence theory proposed by Aquinas. He argues that there is one reality rooted in God himself, who is the ultimate truth-maker. God, according to Geach, is truth. While they lived, he saw W.V. Quine and Arthur Pryor as his allies, in that they held three truths. That there are no non-existent beings, that a proposition can occur in discourse without being there asserted, and that the sense of a term does not depend on the truth of the proposition in which it occurs. He invented the famous ethical example of the stuck potholer, when arguing against the idea that it might be right to kill her child to save its mother. Jenny Teichman, fellow of New Hall, Cambridge, has characterized Getch's philosophical style as deliberately outrageous. Personal life His wife and occasional collaborator was the philosopher and Wittgenstein scholar Professor Elizabeth Anscombe. Both converts to Roman Catholicism, they married in 1941 and had seven children. For a quarter century they were leading figures in the Philosophical Inquiry Group, an annual confluence of Catholic philosophers held at Spode House in Staffordshire that was established by Father Columba Ryan in 1954. Peter Geach died early in the morning on 21 December 2013 at Adam Brooks Hospital in Cambridge and is buried in what is now the Ascension Parish.
Burial Ground, Selected Publications, Translations from the Philosophical Writings of Gottlob Frege, 1952-1960-1966, Good and Evil, Analysis, Mental Acts, Their Content and Their Objects, 1957-1997, Three Philosophers, Aristotle, Aquinas, Frege, 1961, Reference and Generality, an Examination of Some Medieval and Modern Theories, 1962, History of the Corruptions of Logic, Inaugural Lecture, University of Leeds, 1968, God and the Soul, 1969-2001, Logic Matters, 1972, Reason and Argument, 1976, Saying and Showing in Frege and Wittgenstein, Acta Philosophica Fenica 28, 54-70, Truth, Love, and Immortality, An Introduction to McTaggart's Philosophy, 1979, Wittgenstein's Lectures on Philosophical Psychology, 1946-47, Notes by P.T. Geach, K.J., Shah, and A.C., Jackson, 1989, Logic and Ethics, 1990, Truth and Hope, the first Franz Joseph und Fürstin Gina lectures delivered at the International Academy of Philosophy in the Principality of Liechtenstein, 1998.